second. Hi guys, welcome back to 50 second part of the Arduino tutorials. In our previous videos, we have already worked on the seven segment display, starting from basics to multiple small projects like increment decrement counter with push button, interfacing with keypad and traffic light. In all those videos, we have used a single digit display which can display number from 0 to 9. But most of the people had requested us to make video on multi-digit display. So in this video, we'll be working on the 4-digit 7-segment display, which can display number from 0 to 9999. In order to understand this tutorial, you should be familiar with the basics of single-digit display. So make sure you watch those previous videos and come back here. So first, we'll try to understand some concept behind this four digit display. If we consider a single digit seven segment display, it has seven segment pins from A to G and one common pin or the ground. Theoretically, to make a four digit display, we have to combine four pieces of this individual displays. In this scenario, there will be 28 segment pins, which makes the code and the circuit connections very complex. As a solution to this problem, in the displays which are available in the market, they use multiplexing of pins, which means they combine the segment pins of all the individual displays in common and provide only seven pins from A to G, but the common or the ground pin of each display will remain as it is. Here, we call it as digit pins, represented as D1, D2, T3 and D4. So using the segment pins from A to G, we can print the required number. And the digit pins from D1 to D4 will help us to decide at which place or position we want the number to be displayed. Considering an example, if we want to print number 1, we have to make B and C segments as high and other segments will be low. With this combination of values, we get 1, but it will be printed on all 4 digits. In order to print it, particularly on the first digit, I'll activate D1 and deactivate other digits using D2, D3 and D4. Next, if you want to print different digits at the same time, Practically, it's not possible since all the segment pins are common. So here, the persistence of vision comes into picture. To consider an example of printing 2407, I'll print the first number 2 on the first digit, wait for some time and switch off the first digit. Similarly, second number 4 on the second digit wait for some time and switch off the second digit. Then zero on the third digit, wait for some time and switch off. And finally, seven on the last digit, wait for some time and switch off the last digit. So in this way, we have to display the numbers one by one. When this happens at faster rate with less delay, the human eye cannot detect and we feel that 2407 is actually printing on the display. So this is the basic working principle of multi-digit 7 segment display. So we'll see the practicals once we start with the coding. So the components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, 4 digit 7 segment display, 4 330 ohms resistors, breadboard for easy connections, and some jumper wires. Additionally, I'll use two push buttons to make increment and decrement counter.
moving on to the connections i'll place the display on the breadboard to access the pins so we can consider this circuit as a reference to identify the pins Arduino digital pins 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 goes to segment pins a b c d e f and g similarly Arduino pins 9 10 11 and 12 goes to digit pins d1 d2 d3 and d4 along with 330 ohms resistor We'll connect this to the computer and start with the programming. First, we'll try to write a basic code to print any number on the display. So in the declaration, I've declared all the segment pins from A to G connected to digital pins 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And similarly, we have four digit pins D1, D2, D3 and D4 connected to pins 9, 10, 11 and 12. In the setup function, we have to make all these pins as output using the pin mode. So in order to reduce the number of lines, I have used the for loop starting from 2 to 12, which indicate the pin numbers. So before we move on to the loop, first we'll try to create a function. So the function name is display number and it will take one integer argument. So using this value, we'll be switching across different case values from 0 to 9. So we already know from the basics, the truth table of the seven segment display. So by changing the segment pins A to G, according to this, we get the respective number on the display. So with the same as a reference, I've already written the code for all the numbers. To get one, B, C will be high and other segments will be low. And similarly for two, C and F will be low. So in the same way, all 10 digits are here. So if we see the code, for each number there are seven digital write functions. So for 10 digits, there are 70 times digital write functions used. So we can optimize this code. So we'll consider this one, digit one. Here we have digital write for seven pins and each pin will have either zero or one value. So this we can form an array variable of seven elements like this. So I have kept these arrays in the declaration section. So one which has seven elements. So each element will indicate either high or low so this is from a to g in the same way we have 0 to 9 array variables and moving further I have updated the code like this so in the case one instead of this seven lines i have for loop counting from 0 to 7 and digital write used one time so here I'll use the array one, array variable one. So this value runs from zero to seven. And for the pin, I have used i plus two because we have used the digital pin starting from two. So this will go from two to eight. In the same way, for case two, here separate functions, here for loop along with the array variable 2. So the same steps are used for all other digits. So now in the loop we can call this display number function and pass the argument or the number which we want to print. So I'll take example of 5. We'll upload this code. On the display we can see we are getting 5 on all the digits. We'll try with one more number, 7. We 
we are getting 7 now on all the digits so now we'll make use of the digit pins and try to control the position or the place of the digit we'll make this 7 to display only on the third digit for that we have to switch off d1 d2 and d4 in case of common cathode displays in order to activate the display you have to set the pin to low and to deactivate the display you have to set the pin to high so here using digital write function i'll make d1 pin high means deactivate similarly d2 pin and d4 pin is deactivated so after uploading we get 7 only on the third digit so we can try one more i'll make it display on the first digit for that d1 should be activated and other three should be deactivated now seven is showing on the first digit so this is up to displaying common digits so now we'll try to display different digits at the same time i'll take the same example of 2047 so in this first we have to display digit 2 on the first digit that's the reason i am activating the first digit wait for some time 2 milliseconds and again switch off the first digit next digit is 0 display 0 on the second digit delay and switch off the second digit third digit is 4 display 4 on digit 3 wait and switch off digit 3 and last is 7 activate digit 4 wait and deactivate digit 4 so that's it the code so i'll upload this we should get 2047 yes it's working perfect our final requirement is to make push button based increment and decrement counter so we'll make the connections quickly as per the circuit analog pins a0 and a1 connected to one terminal of push buttons separately and other terminals are connected together to arduino ground coming back to the code again i have declared two buttons for one for increment other for decrement connected to pins a0 and a1 in the setup function i have set modes of both these buttons as input and by default they are pulled up so in the loop i am reading the status of the pins using digital read function and storing the value to these variables if increment button press is detected i am increasing the value of this variable by 1 similarly if decrement button is pressed i'll reduce the variable by 1 so this variable will have the value to be displayed finally on the seven segment but according to our existing logic we have to split the digits of the number present in this variable in the same way how we displayed this 2047 so after searching for the logic to extract digits of a number i found some examples online so using division and modulo division operator we can easily extract the digits of a number so i'll go with the same approach here so instead of 2 we need first digit of this variable for that divide by 1000 and modulo division by 10 so this will print first digit for the second one instead of 0 we need to extract second digit of this variable so divide by 100 and for third digit instead of 4 divide by 10 and for last digit instead of 7 we need to take the last digit of this variable so divide by 1 so this will print all the digits stored in this variable in the correct places 
So I'll upload this code and show the result. So using this first button, I can increase the count till 9999 and with the other button, I can reduce the count till zero. So that's all on the multi-digit seven segment display and the increment decrement counter. For code and circuit, follow the link in the description box. For more interesting tutorials, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next video.